Under Rule 403 of the Federal Rules of Evidence, or FRE, federal courts may exclude evidence, even if relevant, if its probative value is substantially outweighed by the danger of unfair prejudice. However, this rule is rarely used. But what if a prosecutor wants to offer emotionally charged terrorism-related evidence to the jury? Should this evidence be excluded? The First Circuit considered this question in United States v. Mahana. Tarek Mahana was an American citizen living in Massachusetts. In 2004, Mahana flew from Boston to the United Arab Emirates with two other men in search of a terrorist training camp. But one week later, after failing to locate a camp in Yemen, Mahana returned to the United States. In 2005, Mahana began translating materials that were written in Arabic to English, which he posted on a website that supported al-Qaeda and Salafi jihadi sentiments. One year later, Following an FBI investigation, Mahana was arrested and charged in federal district court with terrorism offenses. At trial, the government sought to introduce evidence of terrorism-related pictures, videos, and printed materials, including disturbing videos of beheadings of American civilians. It argued that Mahana either saw or read the materials and that the materials shaped his worldview. Mahana's attorney objected, arguing that the evidence wasn't relevant and any value it had was substantially outweighed by the danger of unfair prejudice. The court overruled the objection and admitted the evidence, but gave limiting instructions to curtail its potential prejudicial impact. Following trial, Mahana was convicted and sentenced to 17 and a half years in prison. Mahana appealed to the First Circuit.